Hello everybody and welcome back to a Total War League matchup. This is a special battle, actually. It is a replay of the Season 7 Championship. Yes, Hamilcar Barca taking on Rebel King, both as Bowie. This is a week, I think a six matchup Total War League, uh, eight weeks long. This time around, our eighth season. And Hamilcar Barca going for a record-breaking fourth title. He would break Asair's uh, three titles. They both have three. Asair's up there, too. It's Honestly, it's anybody's grabs. It could be a newcomer named Tilla as well. But today, it is Hamilcar Barca against Rebel King. Here is Barca. He is the yellow Bowie Eye banner. And Rebel King, the red Bowie Eye banners. Let's take a peek at Barca's army. He's got uh, some heavy horse, four heavy horse, the noble horse and his center with some Celt warriors and sword followers. Looks like three, four, five, six sword followers. Three, looks like six Celt warriors and then two slingers. So there is his army. He's got the cavalry. Uh, if you've been watching some of the other videos, we'll probably see the same sort of uh, strategy from Barca and probably see it from Rebel King as well. They like to bring in the cavalry you know, as they're marching their lines up, uh, send in the cavalry unit right before uh, your melee hits, then your cav hits, and your melee gets in on the already downed melee units, and you will do a lot of damage. Rebel King sporting probably, uh, we can't quite see his whole army, but sporting a, a similar army against Hamilcar Barca. Uh, he's, we can already see a heavy horse. Sword followers, three sword followers on this right flank. Looks like some uh, more sword followers. The difference here is three Celtic Slingers as they're both just feeling each other out in this opening matchup. Uh, both players this season having a tremendous season. This is uh, uh, Barca sitting a, I think at this moment in this battle, he was tied with a newcomer named Tilla. Tilla a beast in Total War Room 2 land battles. And uh, both, they both have one loss. Barca a win here. This would be monumentous. He's going free. He doesn't have his perfect season. He actually lost this season to Saga. I don't know if I showed that one on the, the YouTube. I don't even know if we have a replay, but uh, it was his first ever group play loss. So pretty, pretty stunning. Rebel King sitting at fourth place right now. Um, I believe. Let's, let's just, let me just take a quick peek at his, at his standings. Where, where is he lying here? He is yep, fourth, uh, I believe, 10 and 2 going into this battle. And uh, we can kind of get a glimpse of more of his army. There's another uh, heavy horse with a noble horse general. So both opting to bring the horse general. Sometimes you see with Bowie Eye bringing the Osworn. Osworn, a magnificent unit to bring here. As it looks like we're going to see some skirmishing to start us off. Celt Slingers firing away. Looks like we got a two on one right here. That's gonna be nice for Rebel King. Uh, Rebel King, three slingers to Barca's two slingers. So uh, using that to his advantage, trying to kill the uh, slingers of Barca. You know, any anytime you find an advantage in battle, you gotta use it. If you're out, if you're out arrowing the opponent, out slinging the opponent, you got to take advantage of that. Beat the enemy when you can. And uh, on the contrary, let's say you're completely you know, let's say for some reason he didn't bring any melee or uh, arrows like the Emperor. Some t Coach Waffles getting me to bring no uh, no slingers to melee spam, which is shameful, but uh, sometimes you gotta get the job done. But uh, in that done. case, you know, somehow you gotta get in there, hopefully have some horse to boot uh, to get to their arrows. But you don't really want to just take a pelting. But uh, Barca here, luckily, bringing two, one of the most balanced build makers in Rome 2 in in Total War League as well. I mean, always pretty consistent in at least bringing four cav and uh, he, and the Bowie Eye in his hands. That is going to be a, a deadly combination, might I ask you? So Rebel King. Now we see a few more units. Some Levy Freeman in the back. Still more sword followers and uh, only showing one Celt warrior. So a little bit of an advantage here. The map is Rugion, as you can see this aerial view. We got some tree clusters and and uh, all these uh, quadrants here. So the players can actually take advantage of that. Nothing there, you know, Barker's using that, so some hidden units, but I think Rebel King saw what he was sporting. But uh, here, Barker doesn't know what he's sporting. He has a, a general idea just from playing the game so, so much. As now, there's another two-on-one slinger advantage. Rebel King using it wisely as both factions fighting it out with the slingers. 
Uh, and there's no, it doesn't look like there's any hidden units, you know, that you wouldn't expect. Like maybe Barca's going to put something over here. We don't see any of that. So no, not, not quite using a flanking advantage. Barca likes to keep his troops all together, as do all the top players, especially in a 1v1 landscape. But uh, interestingly enough, some slingers pushing back here. And uh, if the players aren't careful, they could be focused uh, on that unit. So sometimes your slinger will push forward if you uh, are focused on a unit that is moving backwards. So something to keep an eye on. There is a, uh, a unit. Uh, there's a button on the unit card you can push. I believe it's uh, guard mode or something. But basically, with guard mode, if you shoot a unit, you will not pursue that unit. So uh, looks like Rebel King was trying to see if he had something there, but... Uh, Either Barca switched his focus fire, or he did have guard mode on. As he's taking a uh, beating, 71 and 80 for those, 90, 78, and 86 for Rebel King. So as expected, it is a favorable matchup for Rebel King. And now Barca knows how important slingers are late game. We'll see if he's going to try to maybe send on a horse, uh, spook these units potentially. Potentially, no. Just get, just get these slingers to push back. Let them think again. There's a bird. There's a bird! <laughs> the bird making an appearance in the in the commentary. Always uh, always a pleasure to see the beautiful wildlife in Total War Rome too. But uh, still just a slinging battle. Rebel King will definitely take this. I don't think he's gonna be uh, upset about that. But now, ooh! From out of the woods, out of nowhere, are Rebel King's heavy horse as there is a route for Barca's Slingers, here come the horse. They decline the engagement, but uh, you've done uh, you've done a good job there, if you're Rebel King. You push the slinger back. He showed his back. I'm not sure if any of the slingers uh, hit the back of Barca's slingers, but uh, any chance there? That's nice. As they those slingers immediately turned their focus on those heavy horse, and I can see the the arrow here. We're at Barca's perspective already back on to these slingers as there is one routed a complete route so uh, now it's three v one on the slingers those are not uh, shattered those are routed they will not come back those the banner is gone uh, the difference is if there was a, a floating banner here that was see it was like it's like see through or white or something creamy white uh, they might come back they usually do come back but uh, in this case no banner they are gone that is it for them. And now Barca probably going to have to start making a move as those slingers could have a field day with these slingers gone. If, if, if both the slingers go as there's more volleys. More beautiful volleys. Let's take a peek at the kill counts. 40 for those slingers. 21 and 32. Barca's at 30 and 13. But uh, it's all, you know, big big part of these battles is that initial engagement. Who gets the better charge? Who has the better tactic? Who is fainting? Who's swaying? And uh, you gotta be ready uh, when when the player's coming for you. Barca, you know, I, I'd be surprised if he lets Rebel King move first. As I, and as I say that, Rebel King is moving first. <laughs> uh, I just, uh, you know, Barca's such a strong opponent, but uh, he does react as he is coming in. He's ready for the battle. Now this is this is the the key engagement. Both showing some horse in the center, and there's there's the rest of the of Rebel King's army. He's got a total of three heavy horse, so he is out calved by one. Barca finds the advantage there. Some uh, Celt warriors in the center, with some sword followers. Front line for Barca are the sword followers. We'll see what uh, you know. Barca's gonna probably try to match unit to unit. You know, Celt warrior to Celt warrior, sword follower to sword follower. But uh, let's just watch this. This is going to be beautiful, probably from both opponents as they uh, come in here. As you can see, the charges, the orders being given, the horses ready to boot, ready to follow. Here come the poem. They choose to go after the heavy horse. They do get some. The horses hit, and here come the melee. That melee coming in. That's going to be a big melee right there, getting in out of the sword followers. As I don't see that Rebel King has answered those charges with a charge of his own. As a heavy horse in, and they hit those sword followers. So there is a loose kill warrior. Gets a, a nice commanding uh, charge. Well, command on those horses. As Barca already ready to go with his next troops, his next contingents. There's so much going on. Big hit there. Nice move by Rebel King. But a kill warrior immediately off the line there. 
and in to push those heavy horse and another Kelt Warrior as well. We'll see if a Sword Faller is going to uh, come in. Looks like he is. So there's another hit. hit opting to hit the back of his own unit. Interesting there. Um, I don't think it's that effective with horses. I've seen it be effective with Bloodsworn uh, if you've got the Swaby, but that's pretty interesting as there is a route here for both armies. It's a Kelt Warrior in there. Going to route that sword follower. We saw that uh, this guy right there, that red unit, got hit by the heavy horse in the beginning of the battle. And he has already gone. And there's a huge center mass win for Barca. As he can go this way, can go that way, can pressure the slingers. He's got lots of options. And pushing around the flank is a Kelt warrior. As this is a big engagement up here. The general for Rebel King in. And the general for Barca. Not so far away. Two Levy Freeman here. Trying to hold off this Kelt warrior. And uh, those Levy Freeman not going to be able to hold for long for Rebel King. But to now Barca, he's going to target his prey. He wants to go in as the Slinger has, uh, is now doing some damage. And it's keeping the battles here late in the game. Those three Slingers somehow got to keep them alive. We've seen Idle Heavy Horse for Rebel King. But there's some troops nearby and one Slinger. Oh boy, he is in the thick of it as there's Barca. I don't know if those guys are out of ammo, but they are moving in. Looks like for a melee engagement, which is pretty interesting. I don't, I don't know if that uh, was on purpose or what, but there's this heavy horse trying to get around one of those slingers, as we can see. I think he's moving his slingers back. No? <laughs> no, they want blood. The slingers want blood. Those horses get caught. The general battle here. There goes those levy freemen. Sounds like Kelt Warrior uh, loosened up. Uh, who can help out on this general here? That general, oh boy. He's, he's between a rock and a hard place. Oh, that's that's devastating. Absolutely devastating. He's probably trying to uh, whittle down the cavalry. There's a strike. We see one Kelt, or, uh, slinger gone. Those Kelt warriors uh, attributed to that. But freeing up units everywhere is Barca. He wants a fourth title. He wants the top cash prize. He wants all the glory. Is here comes the big eight. And big eight. Oh my god. Crushing blow, the camera shaking. Rebel King's hopes are disappearing. As here comes a Kelt Warrior now. They want in on the action. They will rout. That general, this is the only thing keeping Rebel King in the game, and he is completely surrounded. 45 and 15. That's going to be tough. A lot of green banners, a lot of bodies, a lot of death. As the Bowie Eye Civil War is coming to a close. There's your engagement. There's your slaughter. This men doing a fantastic job. 40 seconds left on the clock. Don't see much for Rebel King. Barca just so strong. And by the way, in last season's finale, I think Barca did go 3-0. and And they're all mirror matches. And this is a mirror match as well. But it looks like it's Ogre. Those kill Slingers want some melee action again, just like they had earlier. Here comes another back charge on those sword followers. Bloody mess this is. They are in. Just hacking away as it is finished. Barca securing victory, securing glory, stepping in to potentially the first place of group play, which would guarantee him a cash prize and give him a, a significant advantage in the playoffs. Well, let's go ahead and end that as there's Barca, 1,600 kills to 1,200 kills for <laughs> Test Tickle. That is Rebel King. Uh, we got a funny guy. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> but uh, there you have it. Uh, Rebel King's horses not quite doing the damage uh, but Barca there, 114, 50, and 53. Good damage there. And just, I don't know. I, I've played Barca, and uh, it is not a fun time. But uh, Rebel King's one of the most solid players. And uh, I'm not, not saying it was easy for Barca, but uh, yeah, maybe it was easy. I don't know. It was, it was a great display, but a great game to both players thank you all for watching uh this video is probably coming out on july 24th but uh so next saturday july 31st is our goal 
to be playing the semis and finals for Total War League Season 8. So hope to see you there on twitch.tv slash curvebubbles at noon central time. Alas, glory fighters, glory be upon thee and glory to the Empire.